they are one time multiplexing frequency multiplexing let us see what is mean by time multiplexing and what is mean by frequency multiplexing so in case of uh, time multiplexing let us take the example we have several peripheral devices and these peripheral devices wants to communicate with the computer through a common bus that is called as a channel right so among all these peripherals how they are going to use the common bus of a computer so at a time only one peripheral device can communicate with the computer but uh, there is only a common bus single bus how it is going to communicate so in case of time multiplexing what happens is the common channel is divided into time slots and each peripheral device has given a particular time slot so during that particular time slot they can communicate with the computer so not all the peripheral not, not all the peripheral devices are communicating with the computer at a time only one peripheral com can communicate through the computer at the given time slot right each peripheral device has given a particular time slot by dividing the channel that is the by dividing the bus we call in this case as channel when we are talking about computer we have a bus so we are dividing that channel into a time slots and each peripheral device has given a time slot in order to communicate with the computer during the time slot the peripheral device can communicate with the computer right so that is time multiplexing in case of time multiplexing the channel is divided into time slots right so that the peripheral device can communicate with the computer during their time slot in case of frequency multiplexing we have a single channel in case of frequency multiplexing also so through a single channel we can transmit with different frequencies we can make use of a single channel by transmitting different frequencies right this is frequency multiplexing so i will tell you the general example in order to understand the concept very clearly suppose i am communicating in mobile with my friend and uh, one of my other friend wants to communicate with me right let us assume there are five members those who want to communicate with me but i am on a call with other person so when the first friend wants to communicate with me he will get a busy tone so and then the second friend will tries to call me so all the five friends are trying to call me but what happens here is so based on the priority who is calling first so during uh, the call right they will get a busy tone whenever the person ends the call with the other person that is when i when i am ending the call with the other person automatically based on the priority who is calling first the call will be connected to that person right so the other persons will be in a queue not all the persons will communicate with me simultaneously here only one person can communicate with me at a time right among the several friends here only one of the friend can communicate with me after ending the call with the other person right so this is uh, multiplexing is best suitable in uh, telecommunications so let us come to our concept just we have to define in brief what is mean by time multiplexing what is mean by frequency multiplexing in case of time multiplexing the available channel is divided into time slots and each peripheral device has given a, a time slot in order to communicate with the computer in case of frequency multiplexing we are making use of a single channel by transmitting the frequencies by transmitting at different frequencies right so coming to the definition of multiplexer now 
मल्टीप्लेक्सर इज ए सर्क्यूट कॉम्बिनेशन लॉजिक सर्क्यूट मल्टीप्लेक्सर इज ए कॉम्बिनेशनल लॉजिक सर्क्यूट कामा that accepts several data inputs and among them only one of the data input is transmitted through the output right the routing of data input through the output is based on combination of select inputs right so multiplexer is also called as multiplexer is also called as data selector in short form it is called as mux in short form it is called as mux right so finally the multiplexer accepts several data inputs among these several data inputs only one of the input is routed to the output the routing is based on the combination of select inputs based on the combination of select inputs the particular data input is passed to the output it is also called as data selector because among several data inputs it is selecting only one data at a time based on the combination of select inputs let us see the block diagram of uh, जनरल ब्लॉक डायग्राम ऑफ मल्टीप्लेक्सर हाउ इट विल बी द ऑपोजिट वर्ड टू द मल्टीप्लेक्सर इज डी मल्टीप्लेक्सर सो इफ यू लुक एट द जनरल ब्लॉक डायग्राम सो दिस विल बी द जनरल ब्लॉक डायग्राम ऑफ मार्क्स This is d zero, d one, d n minus one, right? so this is output all these are the inputs data inputs data inputs and this is select inputs or selection lines we call or selection lines right let us assume this is the switch this switch is connected to so and so data input based on the combination of this select inputs 
so we have a select inputs right based on the combination of select inputs the corresponding data input is routed to the output this is general block diagram general block diagram of mux right so what is the quite opposite form to this d multiplexer so d multiplexer has what is the opposite function to multiplexing multiplexing means sharing that is it is it is also called as data selector whereas d multiplexer is also called as data distributor so quite opposite function of multiplexer so it has single data input d select lines and uh, outputs d0 d1 d n minus 1 select inputs right it has a single data input d this d is routed to different outputs based on the combination of select inputs opposite function of multiplexer the dmux right don't bother much about this First, let us concentrate on multiplexers. Suppose coming to our multiplexer, n into a n input multiplexer has how many select inputs? or let us uh, take the example uh, 2 into 1 mux a mux has many inputs and a single output right many inputs and single output n into 1 mux has n select inputs m data inputs right and one output this clear in the same fashion 2 into 1 mux has two data inputs one select input and single output four into one mux has four data inputs two select inputs and single output there is only one output in the mux right and uh, the data inputs based on the data inputs there will be select inputs 8 into 1 mux has 8 data inputs three select inputs and uh, one output whereas in case of uh, 16 into 1 mux sixteen into 1 mux has 16 data inputs 
फोर सेलेक्ट इनपुट्स एंड ए सिंगल आउटपुट इन द सेम पैशन राइट देर विल बी एन सेलेक्शन लाइन्स टू पावर एन डेटा इनपुट्स एंड ए सिंगल आउटपुट राइट n into 1 marks as not not no, already i have explained here right so 32 into 1 marks has 32 data inputs five select inputs and a single output two power n into one marks has two power n data inputs n select inputs and a single output right 2 power n into 1 marks has 2 power n data inputs n select inputs and a single output <laughs> Let us see basic multiplexer 2 into 1 max. design of 2 into 1 marks so you can write this is a matter as per the steps we have discussed steps to design combination logic circuit first you have to define the application first point definition 2 into 1 marks is a combinational logic circuit it has two data inputs one select input and one output among two data inputs only one data input is passed or is is passed or transmitted through the output two data inputs at a time only one data input is passed through the output based on combination of select inputs there is one select input there will be so there will be two combinations they are 0 and 1 this is the first step second step logic diagram logic 
diagram. Nothing but block diagram. This is D0, D1, data inputs. Yes, select input, output Z. This is 2 into 1 max. This is the logic diagram. Logic diagram of 2 into 1 max. Right? So if you look at the truth table, third point. Truth table. Select inputs. Select inputs. S and output Z. As there is only one select input, there will be two combinations 0 and 1. When S is 0, when S is 0, D0 is rooted to the output. So I will write D0 here because the output has Z is equal to D0. Next, when S is 1, S is 1. D1 is rooted to the output. So I will write D1 here. So this is the truth table. Right? So based on the truth table, obtain the minimal expressions. That is the next step, fourth step. So z directly I will write the expression z is equal to the meaning of this is 1 d0 is nothing but 1 here for this combination. So I will write d0 directly I am writing d0 d0 into this is s complement plus next d1 into s. Right? We call this as a logic expression of a 2 into 1 max. Logic expression of 2 into 1 max. So, fifth step is verification. Before doing, as well, sorry, not verification, logic circuit. Now, substitute the values in this whether you are getting output properly or not. When S C is 0, Z is equal to D0 into 0 bar plus D1 into 0. Z is equal to D0 into 1 plus 0. Z is equal to D0. Next. When S is equal to 1, Z is equal to D0 into 1 bar plus D1 into 1. That is equal to D0 into 0 plus D1. That is equal to 0 plus D1. That is equal to D1. So based on the select inputs, based on the value of select input, the corresponding data input is rooted to the output. When S is 1, D1 is rooted to the output. That is Z is equal to D1. When S is 0, Z is equal to D0. So when S is 0, this one is rooted to the output. Right? This is the concept of multiplexer. So among the several data inputs, based on the combination of select input, only one data input is rooted to the output. So the, for that reason, it is also called as data selector. Now let us see logic circuit. Fifth one. 
logic circuit. So we have two data inputs D0 and uh, D1, one select input D0, D1, S. So there are no complements of D0 and D1, we have complements only for S. Right? So look at the expression, this is AND gate, AND gate and finally OR gate. So I am taking two AND gates, one OR gate. The outputs of these two AND gates are connected to OR gate. First inputs of AND gate, first inputs of first AND gate is D0. S bar, this is S, this will be S bar. Next, second and gate inputs are D1, S, right? So this is D0, S bar, D1, S, D0, S bar, D1S. Finally, Z is equal to D naught S bar plus D1S. If you want to verify the same, you can verify. When S is 0, S bar will become 1. So here it will be D naught into 1. Here D naught is selected. At this end you will get D naught. Right? At this end you will get D0. Next, here you have D1 and you have 0. D0 into 0. This is D1, this is 0. In the previous AND gate, this is D0, this is 1. So D0 into 1 is D0. D1 into 0 is 0. D0 plus 0 that is equal to D0 right like this you can verify and uh, this is basic 2 into 1 max all these multiplexers are available in the form of ICs next let us see 4 into 1 multiplexer the 4 into 1 MUX has how many data inputs and how many select inputs and how many outputs. 4 into 1 MUX. It has, so I am not going to write the matter, you write the matter in brief, right? 4 into 1 MUX is a combination logic circuit. It has four data inputs, two select inputs and a single output. Among these four data inputs, based on the combination of two select inputs, the color, one, only one of the data input is routed to the output. Right? So if there are two select inputs, there will be four possible combinations. You write all the definition. Four into one max is a combinational logic circuit. It has four data inputs, two select inputs, and a single output. Based on the combination of select inputs, only one data input is routed to the output.
for two select inputs there will be four possible combinations they are 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 right this is the definition next logic diagram s1 s0 select inputs look at the direction in always into the circuit output is always out from the circuit d0 d1 d2 data inputs single output z 4 into 1 max right so this is also available in the form of ic like uh, all logic gates are available in the form of ics so uh, as well as multiplexers are also available in the form of ics if you are interested just go through the ic numbers there are 7415374157 7415571 this is logic diagram next coming to the truth table select inputs s1 s0 output z 0001101 for this combination d0 is routed to the output when s1 s0 r 00 d0 is routed to the output when s1 s0 r 01 d1 is routed to the output d1 next d2 next d3 when this is 1 this is 0 d2 is routed to the output when both are 1 1 d3 is routed to the output right this is the truth table next how will you write the expression the output logic expression of four into one max is z is equal to d not into s one bar s not bar plus d not into s one bar s not bar. In SOP zeros are represented with complemented variables, ones are represented with uncomplemented variables. D one s one bar s not plus D two S one S not bar plus P three S one S not. Example: When S one is equal to one and S not is equal to zero, Z is equal to D not into one bar zero bar plus D one into one bar zero plus D two into one. Zero bar plus d three into one zero. Z d is equal to d not into one bar will be zero. Zero bar will be one. Finally, zero into anything will be zero plus d one into one bar is zero. Zero into zero will be zero plus d two one into zero bar is one plus d three into Zero. So finally, Z is equal to zero plus zero plus D two plus zero. Z is equal to D two, right? Fifth one. Logic circuit. How will you draw the logic circuit?
I will take uh, four data inputs D0, D1, D2, D3, two select inputs S1, S0 and their complements. How many AND gates we have? Four. So first AND gate has three inputs D0, next S1 bar, S0 bar. Next AND gate has D1, S1 bar, S0. S1 bar, S0. Next AND gate has D2, S1, S0 bar. S1, S0 bar. Next, D3. S1, S0. This is S1. This is S1. Now, all these outputs of AND gates are connected to OR gate. Right? So, this is D0, S1 bar, S0 bar. D1, S1 bar, S0. D2 S1 S0 bar D3 S1 S0 finally Z is equal to you will get this function right if you want to verify you apply inputs S1 S0 here check the output right you take the same example S1 is 1 and S0 is 0 this is 1, this is 0, this will be 0 and this will be 1, they are complements, next. So here it is connected, this is 0, when one input of AND gate is 0, the output will be 0. Next, here 0 is connected to this, this will be 0, here D2, 1 is connected to this and 1 is connected to this. 1 into D2 will be, you will get D2 here. This is D2. Next, as D3, 0 is connected to 1 input of AND gate, this will be 0. So finally, Z is equal to D2. Right? This is verification. You take pencil for verification so that you can erase afterwards, right? So this is 4 into 1 mux. In the same fashion, you design 8 into 1 mux. Design eight into one multiplexer and explain. Operation with the help of logic circuit. So, in case of 8 into 1 mux, we have 8 data inputs, 3 select inputs. Based on the combination of 3 select inputs, only one of the data input is used to the output. You write the matter, definition, next, block diagram, next truth table next you write the logic expression based on the logic expression draw the logic circuit 
right now let us see important uh, topic logic questions how questions will be asked in case of multiplexers in your exams very important design 16 into 1 multiplexer using 8 into 1 marks so this is a logic question so we have to design a 16 into 1 multiplexer by using 8 input multiplexer right so in case of a 8 input multiplexer we have only 8 inputs in case of 16 input multiplexer we have 16 inputs how we will get 16 inputs from 8 into 1 marks so in order to implement this we require two 8 into 1 multiplexers because in case of 16 into 1 marks there are 16 data inputs in case of 8 into 1 marks we have 8 data inputs in order to get 16 data inputs we have to choose two 8 into 1 multiplexers solution as there are 16 data inputs in 16 into 1 marks and 4 select inputs and 4 Require two eight into one maxes, right? Multiplexers. Let us see the solution how we are going to design. So I will take uh, two eight into one multiplexers. right this is the single output these are the eight data inputs This is D0, D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, D6, D7. This is available in the form of IC. That IC is 74151. This is IC number. Single output Z. Z. D0, D1, D2 d3 d4 d5 d6 d7 right how many data inputs it has three data inputs B, I will denote this with, uh, not, don't denote this with, this is S2, S1, S0. S2, S1, S0. Right? Select inputs. I see number. And uh, 
as this 8 into 1 MUX is available in the form of IC, it has an enable input. Any IC is, can have an enable input. The meaning of this uh, enable input is if this is active, the circuit. If it is activated, if this is active, the circuit is operated. Here, circuit is nothing but IC, right? So, uh, the active signal is this one. Active low. What is the meaning of this bubble? It is a enable input. Enable input, right? Enable input. Enable input. Active low enable input. Active low enable input in the sense by giving zero, the circuit is activated. Zero, if you give input zero to this, zero complement will become one. So this will be enabled. Circuit is operated or enabled right this mux is enabled the same is connected here zero this will be disabled in order to disable this only one in order to function only one mux among these two we have to introduce a control signal with inverter i will connect this output to this i will connect the same to this right Next, what happens? I will connect the same select inputs to this. I will connect the same select inputs to this. I will connect the same select inputs to this. right now s2 is connected to s2 of let us treat this as lower order mux or mux1 mux2 mux1 select inputs are tied together with mux2 mux1 enable input is tied together with mux2 by placing an inverter in between this mux1 and mux2 so finally i will treat this as a b c d this as D0, D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, D6, D7. So if you look at the truth table of uh, 16 into 1 max, truth table, A, B, C, D, these are the select inputs. Output Z. So as there are four inputs, how many combinations you will get? 16 different combinations you will get. 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, double 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. 1. 1 triple 0, 1 0 0 1, 1 0 1 0, 1 0 1 1, 1 1 double 0, 1 1 0 1, 1 1 1 0, 1 1 1 1, right? What I will do here is, as we have to design 16 into 1 max using 18 into 1 max, so we have chosen two 8 into 1 multiplexers in order to design 16 into 1 max. So I will categorize these two multiplexers as two divisions. One is lower max, lower order max, higher order max. This is lower order max, higher order max. First eight combinations are lower order max. This is lower order 
this is higher order monks right a is nothing but enable input so when all these four are zero zeros the same select inputs are also connected to higher order monks what happens here see zero 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 here zero is going to inverter it will become one this will become one and uh, as this is active low input right as this is active low input this is deactivated you are giving input one to this this will be active when zero appears at its input because these two are active low inputs whenever zero is connected to this the corresponding monks will be enabled whenever zero is passed to enable input that corresponding multiplexer will be enabled first zero is passed to this enable input directly this zero is given as input to inverter and is given to enable input of higher order monks so the value of this will become one so whenever you give one to this enable input as this is active low input when you give zero at that time the multiplexer will be enabled in this case when you apply zero lower order monks is enabled higher order monks is disabled when this is disabled if enable input of this is disabled there is no operation from this monks right when this enable input is activated there is operation from this box so now this is disabled for all the first eight combinations higher higher order max is disabled because a bit that is e enable bit a b c d this a is continuously zero for the first eight combinations so lower order max is active for the next eight combinations look here for the next eight combinations higher order max is enabled because this value will become 1 right so 1 appears to the enable input of lower order max so this lower order max is disabled and this higher order max is enabled see one is going here and this will become zero so this will be enabled higher order max is enabled lower order max is disabled for the next eight combinations so as these are the select inputs a b c d s2 s1 s0 are select inputs of lower order monks along with enable input we are treating this enable input as select input right select inputs i am designating with a b c d the internal designations are this one these designations we are treating as like this right a b c d a b c d. and what is the continuation after d7 d8 d9 d10 d11 d12 d13 d14 d15 so when all these inputs are zero zero d0 is selected to the output d1 d2 d3 d4 d5 d6 d7 d8 d9 d10 d11 d12 d13 d14 d15 right i will write the matter so that it will be clear for you so for the first for the first eight combinations of select inputs lower order max is enabled and higher order max is 
disabled next for the next eight combinations 10001111 lower order maxis disabled and higher order maxis enabled right i will repeat once again listen carefully so 8 into 1 max has three select inputs eight data inputs single output three select inputs eight data inputs single output as this is a ic as these multiplexers are available in the form of ics it has a enable input the enable input is active low whenever zero is connected to this active low input the corresponding multiplexer will be enabled so if you look at the truth table of 16 into 1 max for the first eight combinations a is continuously zero enable input i'm treating as a right for the first eight combinations it is zero when it is zero it is connected to enable input so this will be enabled enable inputs active low enable inputs are activated when zero is applied right see this is zero for the first eight combinations it is continuously zero this is active this is inactive so when this is active what are the remaining combinations you have 0 0 if you apply 0 0 0 here what is the output you are getting d not d not is rooted to the output see this d not is rooted to the output right when these are 0 0 when a is enable input is 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 this is active this is inactive so when this is inactive there is no operation from this so based on the combination of this 0 0 1 d1 is rooted to the output right like this for the first eight combinations this mux is active this is inactive there will be outputs from d0 to d7 at this multiplexer based on the combination of select inputs when whenever for the next eight combinations this a will become one right this is connected to enable input of lower lower order mux so this will be inactive because it is active low signal this is inactive and this is connected to inverter here it will become zero so this zero becomes activates this mux right when this mux is activated this mux is inactive so based on the combination of next eight combinations look these eight combinations repeats so this is higher order mux based on the combination of s2 s1 s0 if this is 1 1 is connected to this this become active if it is 0 0 0 d8 is rooted to the output if it is 0 0 1 when a is 1 d d1 is rooted to the output d1 is designated as d9 to this right this clear now the final step is i'm erasing this truth table so we have two multiplexers how we are treating this two multiplexers output as a single output as we have i have told you a multiplexer has only single output but in this case there are two outputs 
how these two outputs are treated as single output. This is lower order mux. This is higher order mux. I will connect these outputs. along with this output to an OR gate and I will define this as Z. I don't have much space on board so I'll just try to understand. Right? With this a complete circuit is designed. Now let us see the operation. I am erasing all the inputs whatever we have assumed. There are two multiplexers named as lower order mux and higher order mux and uh, it has active low enable input. Each mux is having active low enable, enable input designated as E. right? As there are three select inputs based on the combination of these three select inputs the corresponding data input is routed to the output right now let us see the example first i am choosing this i am applying a is 0 b is 0 c is 0 d is 0 right as a is connected to enable input and uh, to enable input of higher order mux through inverter. This 0 appears directly here and this 0 appears here. 0 complement will become 1 and 1 appears to the enable input of higher order mux and this will be 0 0 0. So whenever the enable input is inactive for higher order mux, enable input active low enable inputs are activated when 0 is applied but you are connecting 1 here so this higher order mux is inactive when enable input is inactive there is no operation from this mux right in general I will tell you one example you are coming you are, uh, you are going back from college to your home if your uh, home door is locked will you enter into your home it is impossible right because door is not enabled door is not open if door is open you can enter into your house if it is closed how will you enter the same fashion if this enable input is inactive there is no operation from this right for the first eight combinations this a is continuously zero for the first 8 combinations, lower order mux is active. For the next 8 combinations, higher order mux is active. And based on the combination of select inputs, as this is active, the combination is 0, 0, 0. D0 is routed to the output. And there is no output from this. This is 0. This output is 0. And at this end, what you got? Output D0. 0 plus D0, that is equal to D0 you got D0 right like this we can verify all these and I will take one more A is 0 B C D R 1 1 1 so if B C D R 1 1 1 D7 is rooted to the output so this D7 is rooted to the output so here there is no output from this mux 0 plus D7 gives us D7 the output right these two outputs of muxes are given to inputs of OR gate so that it will become a 16 into 1 mux using 8 into 1 mu 8 into 1 multiplex for the next eight combinations a value is 1 this is 1 and this is 0 0 0 as this is 1 this is directly connected to active low enable input of lower order mux 
so this is inactive this is deactivated when this is deactivated there is no operation from this circuit so z will become zero and this one is connected here the complement of this will become zero and zero is connected to this the inputs are zero 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 what happens here s2 s1 s0 are zero 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 when a is one when a is one S2, S1, S0, that is BCD or 0, 0, 0, D8 is selected to the output. So, D8 is routed to the output. So, there is output from higher order marks, that is D8, and there is no output from lower order marks, that is 0. 0 plus D8 gives you D8. Right? So this will be 1 and uh, for the next combinations these will become 1 1 1 this will become 1 1 1 so there is no output because 1 is connected to enable input of this this will be deactivated so this is there is no output from this the output from this is 0 0 plus and uh, the output from this is this one D7 that is D15 is selected D15 plus 0. 0 plus D15 gives you D15. By this way, we will get 16 into 1 max operation by using 8 into 1 multiplexer. Right? So, in order to design a 16 into 1 max using 8 into 1 multiplexers, we require 2 8 into 1 multiplexers and we are making use of enable inputs, active low enable inputs. And uh, we are uh, taking a OR gate and we are connecting the two outputs of 18 to 1 multiplexers to an OR gate in order to get the single output. As the multiplexers are having only single outputs, so compulsory you have to connect these two outputs to an OR gate so that it will become 16 into 1 multiplexer. So uh, for the first eight combinations, lower order max is enabled, higher order max is disabled. So based on the combination of select inputs, the corresponding data input is routed to the output. For the next eight combinations, starting from 1000 to 1111, lower order max is disabled, higher order max is enabled. Based on the combination of select inputs, the corresponding data input is, root, is routed to the output. So this is the implementation of 16 into 1 max using 8 into 1 multiplexers. So concentrate on this type of questions. In exams, they will ask the questions logically. The previous topics we have studied that is direct topics 2 into 1 multiplexer, 4 into 1 multiplexer, 8 into 1 multiplexer. But this is a logical question. In the same fashion, you can also design 32 into 1 max using 16 into 1 multiplexers. That is your practice problem. This is clear. If you have any doubts, you can feel free to ask me doubts. So, next one for your practice problem. Design a 32 into 1 max using 16 into 1 multiplexers. Design 32 into 1 max using 16 into 1 maxes. or simply 16 into 1 max. So here also a 32 into 1 max has 32 data inputs and uh, 5 select inputs based on the combination of 5 select inputs the corresponding data input is rooted to the output. Right? You can take uh, here for the first 16 combinations what is the maximum 30? How will you represent 32 this way? Right for the 16 for, for the first 16 combinations, you can take two first 16 combinations A, B, C, D, E. This will be 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. For the next 16 combinations. This 
this is 8, 4, 2, 1, 16, and 1, 1, 1. This is a truth table in short form I have written. For the first 16 combinations, you treat this as lower order max. For the next, you treat this as higher order max. And you take enable input. This is you treat this as enable input. These two are select inputs of 16 into 1 marks. You take two 16 into 1 multiplexers and uh, it has enable input for the first 16 combinations. This mux will be enabled, and for the next 16 combinations, this mux will be disabled. So for the first 16 combinations, enable input will be zero. So for higher lower order mux is enabled. For the next 16 combinations, enable input is will become zero. That is, if you connect 1 to the NOT gate, the output of NOT gate will be 0. 0 you are connecting to enable input of higher order marks. So, there will be output from higher order marks. You practice and submit me.